the teacher would judge them. <gasps> 230%. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. What is the range? You know those are weeds, right? I don't know what to do. That is so good for me because Landon's birthday is in two days. And one thing that I do every year is take his birthday pictures. That is something that I do. I hold close to my heart. I take his birthday pictures every single year. And it has been raining nonstop for the last like week. And it's clear outside today, you guys. There are blue skies. Do you see the blue skies? Look how pretty. The only thing, and this is kind of a big thing, is that it is extremely windy outside. That might be just as bad, if not worse, probably not worse, than the rain. So I'm hoping that I can take his birthday pictures today. That's my goal. But it's gonna be dependent on how this wind looks a little bit later in the day. Usually I don't take their pictures until the evening time. Today would just be so perfect because today he doesn't have soccer. I am running out of time. I'm running out of time. Bro, he does have soccer. No matter what way it works out, it's gonna, there's gonna be an issue one way or another. So I'm just gonna have to weigh my options. First things first though, I actually don't, you would think with how much I've been talking about taking his birthday pictures that I would have his outfit picked out. Um, I don't. So that is where I'm headed right now. I'm actually gonna go to Old Navy. They usually have some really good like spring choices. I have an idea of what I want. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I actually do have a birthday birthday shirt for him. Maybe I'll have him wear that. I don't really know. I'm just gonna kind of go look and see what my options are. So let's go see what they have. I found a couple things, couple options. It's actually picture day for my kids tomorrow at school, so I did find stuff for that, but I didn't quite find like what I was looking for. This stuff might work. I might check, what time is it? 12. The kids are out early today. There's parent-teacher conferences all week. Theirs are all today, actually, so I may not have to, uh, but if I don't go right now. Um, the kids are out of school right now. Chris is picking them up, and their parent-teacher conferences start at 1.40. It's 12. I technically have time, but then I wouldn't have time to eat lunch. Pick and choose, right? Let me see if his birthday shirt was delivered. I bought a birthday shirt on Amazon. It's so cute. Oh, it's not here. It's not here yet, but it's coming today. This I think might be cute to take pictures with. It's just a plain black shirt. It says nine and it says practically a man. That is super cute, but I think it would be nice if I could put like, I was envisioning maybe like a jean jacket over it though, and I didn't see one there in his size. Anyway, they did have some, but they didn't have any size. Okay, Um, I am going to choose myself. I haven't eaten lunch yet. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make lunch and I'm gonna look through his closet one more time and see if I can throw an outfit together because that would be ideal anyway. I did get a nice pair of jeans that he could wear with it. So uh, to be continued, I'm gonna go home, see my babies, and make some lunch. Then I finally got to play outside, mommy. You finally got to play outside. Finally, the weather is nice. Finally, it's not raining. Ugh, I love that for you. I was gonna say what about my birthday pictures. I know, guess what I was just doing? I literally was just at the store looking for an outfit for you for your birthday pictures. I'm so glad you remembered. We're gonna hopefully do that today, hopefully. Kinda depends on the wind, we'll see. We're gonna weigh out our options, but it's not too bad out there right now. Do you wanna help me cook? Sure. My little cooker, baker girl. Guess what? We have HelloFresh today. Do you wanna help me pick which meal we should cook? Okay, let's look at our options. I love our HelloFresh days. They just make meal times easy. With recipes made from fresh, wholesome ingredients. And um, it's delivered right to your door. As you can see, this, well, this was just sitting at our door. It's now inside our door. So they have 40 different recipes that you can choose from every single week. They have them for all different meal occasions, lifestyles, preferences. I get the vegetarian box. Should we do the honey miso broccoli and sweet potato, Don Burry, fancy names. Hot honey Brussels and lemon ricotta flatbreads. <laughs> or one pan black bean and pepper quesadillas. This one? Okay, we like this one. This is a good one, quesadillas. It comes in these bags filled with pre-portioned ingredients in here. So that mixed with its foolproof recipe cards and the convenience of it literally just being dropped off at my door. HelloFresh gets me. They get me. My busy, chaotic lifestyle. What is your popsicle made out of? Uh, water. Yeah, and what does it taste like? <laughs> is that your favorite flavor? It's an icicle. It's, oh, it is like an icicle. It's nice too because you get seasonal ingredients, so the recipes that they send you includes ingredients at their peak ripeness. For quality, you can literally taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. A lot of the recipes are also really like fast to make. This one in particular, 15 minutes, which is good because we have four parent-teacher conferences to go to this afternoon. So, Addie, do you wanna get me a cutting board? Small, medium, or big? 
Let's do medium. You are awesome. All right, ready? Delivery. Got so it. hold the knife with me. Don't cut your finger. Job. It always scares me. I can take these hot peppers. <laughs> oh, it's splattering on my face. <laughs> Good job. Do I cut it, Mommy? Squeeze, too? Yep, squeeze it all in. Actually, it looks like vanilla ice cream. So yum. <laughs> I am the best chef ever. I'm also crazy. Okay, big squeeze of lime juice. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that was hard. Good. One, two. Good job. Yeah. This partner. is looking so good. Okay, I need help sprinkling cheese. Ooh, things are getting messy. Mm. Is there more of that? <laughs> so can I do mine? Yep, come fold it up. Fold it in half. Good job, push it down. Oh, well, that's kind of a lot. You want a lot of sour cream? It looks like a pizza. I'm gonna drizzle mine, and I'm gonna let the boys decide how much they want on theirs. All right, ready, cheers? Actually, Addie calls it jinx. Let's jinx it, ready? One, two, three, jinx! <laughs> Do you like it? So good. Plenty of time to spare too. As always, if you are wanting to try HelloFresh, definitely use the code that I have. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code JFAM60 for 60% off plus free shipping. I have a link down in the description that'll take you straight there. Do you want any hot sauce or sour cream? Yeah, a little bit of hot sauce. Yeah. We're on to the parent-teacher conferences. We've got all three of us adults here. We've got Mimi here. She was a teacher, if you don't know. And so I always love when, when she comes we, to school eventually because she gives lots of good insight. When I was eating my insight. popsicle, yeah. when I was eating my popsicle, I, I accidentally yeah. bit on my on my, uh -huh. my tooth right here, yeah. and now it's actually more wiggly. <gasps> That's so exciting. And it's actually kind of in more. See, this one's open. Yeah, I this see it. It was like bleeding a little bit, huh? Okay. Yeah. And That's why, that's why it's, that's why it's, I have baby teeth. That's and right. That, yeah. This one is muted, as muted. big because it's a grown up it. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's turning into a grown up. <laughs> so we also have some overlapping time. So we're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to divide and conquer for some of this. So the more adults, the better. I think in order, we've got Kyson, Addie, Caden, and Landon with a few little overlapping times. So they, with, I don't know if this is just a Montessori thing, but they, they highly encourage the kids to come. In fact, I don't know if this one is, but a lot of a lot of the times these conferences are child led. They write how they feel that they're doing and how they feel about subjects. So it's very like child, yeah, child led, centered, child centered, child centered, yes. child centered, very child centered with how they feel, and then the teacher like gives their input as well. So I really really like these conferences. They have them several times a year, and we're gonna go see how you're doing. How are you feeling in school? How do you feel about school, Addie? Good. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay. Okay. Kyson is um always Mommy. the hardest on himself. He tends to judge how he does more I can't think of the word my words are not working today it's so interesting though having like a child-led conference because they're very honest like I feel like I mean at least my kids are I feel like they judge themselves very fairly and if not like more difficult than the teacher would judge them like there was what for one example there was Kaden he had a project that he did and she asked how do you feel you did on this and he gave himself like a 8 out of 10 and he actually scored like a hundred percent on it so anyway let's go are you ready how's the wind it's not too windy no, it is. <laughs> We are home from the parent-teacher conferences. They went so well. I am just so proud of my kids. Like every single one of their teachers, like each and every one of them, like just had so many good things to say. Like Kyson, for example, he has grown 230% in reading from his first trimester to now. 230%, that's insane. Addie is doing exceptional in her class. She's talking about how she knows sight words. She knows her uppercase and lowercase letters. Like the main feedback that she had for her is that she needs to challenge herself even more, to push her even further. She is already excelled in all the things that she knows. Landon also had a really big jump in his reading scores. He loves reading. He's also, his teacher says that he is extremely on task at all times, which if you know my concerns for him in the past, like I just am trying to keep an eye on his ability to like concentrate on some things. There's just been things that have come up in the past with regular schooling. I was wondering if there was some sort of like attention deficit thing going on. So if there is, which you know, it's a spectrum, it's not affecting his schoolwork. Like she said, he's incredible and he can stay on task um, anytime he needs to. Caden's teacher is just like the sweetest soul on this planet. They're all 
So they all are actually really good teachers, but she just raves about like how kind and humble Caden is and how he finishes all his jobs every single day. Like they just, there's so many good things, so many nice things. So I love going to those conferences. Anyway, moving on with our day. I actually have to film a sponsorship here in a minute. And then Miss Pilly Pants just got home from school. How's school? Lovely girl. Next on the list though, I need to rummage through Landon's closet and see if I can come up with an outfit for him. I've been keeping an eye on the wind. It is actually pretty windy outside. Like the main thing for me is just like it's not like it's freezing cold or anything I mean it's cold but like we can go outside and take pictures but the hard part is like pieces of clothing blowing like I don't know I'm just I'm trying to think like a photographer here so I'm just trying to decide if I should wait until tomorrow or if I can do it tonight but I'm gonna give it a few more hours because I like to take pictures in the evening time anyway I actually need to film a sponsorship really quick that's one thing I need to do hi Sadie hi what are you doing you are so beautiful do you know that you are just so beautiful knuckles Oh, close enough. Chris just took Addie to the reptile store to go get bugs for Mango. He's out. He's been in brumation these last like few weeks. He's kind of been in and out of it, which I'm learning more and more about. If you don't know, it's like kind of like a hibernation type state for reptiles, but he just came out of it. So he's like ready to eat again. They tend to like eat less during that time and be less active, but it seems like he just came out of it. So we're getting him his bugs. We're gonna get him some playtime. I'm gonna go check out what's in Landon's closet. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. I We have so many clothes, like there's gotta be something that works. I just want it to be, I don't know, I just want it to be perfect. For me, generally that means like not something themed or you know not like a branded shirt something stylish something that is very like them something they like a few things in particular that i was hoping to look for is he likes hoods like he likes hooded things what i was looking for this time he used to have in a 5t no longer fits but it was like a jean jacket with a hood and he loved that jacket so i was hoping to replicate something like that from his i think that was his fifth birthday pictures. He does have this shirt. He loves this shirt. It does have a hood. Maybe he can wear it underneath something. I also try to think about like their features, what makes things pop. His eyes, for example, he has these big, beautiful, hazily eyes. He looks really good in green. So I usually will put him in like greens or tans just to really bring out some of the features that I hold dear to my heart of his, like those big green eyes. Obviously he looks good in anything he wears, but you know, those are just some things that I look for. Oh my gosh, he used to love this shirt. It's the same idea. These I actually got from Old Navy. That's why I was thinking Old Navy because these are two shirts that he loves. He loves like this style. He may have actually worn these for his birthday pictures one time, but I wonder if his birthday shirt came yet. Did we get an Amazon package? Really? Yes, this is probably it. One of these, I think most of the stuff is stuff that I got for his birthday this weekend. Ah, yes! Okay, so this is the shirt that I got for his party that we're having. Level nine unlocked, so cute. And this is the shirt I was talking about. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, maybe I'll just go with it. He does love the color black. This with like some nice jeans, some white tennis shoes. Do I have a hat I can throw on him? Ooh, I have a Mickey hat, two Mickey hats. I'm loving this. With this, with jeans, okay, maybe. It. You like it? Oh my, this is not okay. What? You look like you're 19. You look so big. Yeah. Oh my God, why are you the cutest oh. thing I've ever seen in my whole life? I can't handle this right now. I cannot handle this. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. You're gonna make me cry. Oh. Okay, Landon, ready? He's excited to show you his outfit. Okay, ready, steady, and go. Oh. <laughs> he looks like he's 12. I know. Oh. Look you know how what? cute he is. It's the, it's the hat. It's so, it's, it's hat. it is. It makes him grow like another like four years. I can't handle this right now. Okay, let's go get in the car. Let's go try it out, see what we can get, okay? Okay, we are gonna go scope out some locations. The wind is pretty bad. Chris is grabbing his drone and he's gonna meet me there. I'm gonna start looking for a good place. It sucks because I always do drone pictures. Like I always do, drone, not pictures, but like I always get drone footage and <laughs> with this wind it might not be possible. So that's okay, we'll take what we can get. Issues. Come on, Addie's like, wait, wait. Let's go scope it out, buckle up, buttercup. Mom, what if it rains on my first day? On your birthday? Yeah. Oh, that would be some bad luck, huh? Okay, so this is the place that we've taken the kids' birthday pictures the last couple years. I used to take them in the, the almond blossoms, but the last few years we just ended up here. There's this beautiful field of yellow flowers. Last year someone was like, you know those are weeds, right? Guess what? We do not care if they're weeds. They are still so pretty. Like, look at these yellow flowers. Oh, they're so nice. I'm gonna get my tripod, Kay. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. 
so bummed i took a bunch of pictures and these pictures are just not it like let me show you guys some of them they're fine don't get me wrong but i think i just i have like certain expectations of myself for how i want the pictures to come out and these, these are just yeah this is not it like this lighting is just not good i don't like the background i tried switching him around to different places and this one like the sun is on his face here it's very like minor things but on the way home we ended up stopping at this like brick wall and it's just super dark like i don't know if you can tell but like the lighting under his eyes like the shadows are just uh he's cute he rocked it he was doing amazing but it's just the lighting was not working with us the wind was so bad the way the wind was blowing his hair was going back and then it was cold and it was just it was not working so we wrapped it up we're just gonna have to try it another day we're so close we're so close hopefully by the time this video is posted you can see whether or not we made it happen go follow me on instagram if you want to see if they ever ended up happening or just stay tuned for the next video that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in our next video